When I first saw Rollerdrome, I was like, damn, riding roller skates and shooting things at the same time sounds like badass. And if we can make it work, it will be super cool. I'm John Ribbins, and I'm Studio Creative Director at Roll7. Hi, I'm Jacob Mills. I'm Senior 3D Level Designer on Rollerdrome. So making a Rollerdrome was a challenge, right? Because the skating game where you're not just skating, it's a shooting game where you're not just shooting. It's both, right? So it was finding what worked and what didn't. Making a level where you kind of don't have any dead ends and you don't have any corners you can get stuck in and you can always go up something or jump up something or carve around something that's going to bring you back into the combat again, like funnel you back into the baddies who you need to wipe out, um, I think is super important. We never want cars to come to a stop. So I need elements to be at least 13 meters apart so that when the player comes down a quarter pipe, they have enough time to decide whether they want to go straight ahead or to the left or to the right, depending on what attacks are coming in or, or what you know obstacles are in front of them, that kind of thing. It's the first Roll7 game that kind of isn't linear. It gives you free reign to kind of have a bit more creativity and throw a bit more flair into what you're doing. You've got a move set that you're going to learn and you've got these high-level moves that you're going to do and the cool moments won't happen because we scripted it to happen. They'll happen because just the perfect set of things happened one after the other that let you do something super badass. We're very simply continuing to teach people things and for the first few levels, they're kind of easy, like kill five guys, whatever. But then later on, it's like, kill a guy while wall riding, and all that kind of thing. And it's like, oh, what's a wall ride? You know, like if you haven't done a wall ride yet, there's your kind of impetus to do it. Stuff that kind of points you to deeper mechanics, well, like shooting rockets out of the air, or yes. like air dodging snipers and things like that. They're kind Perfect of... dodging a mine. Yeah. And from there, you can activate reflex time and get super reflex. And... They're those things that if you haven't had that aha moment yet, it's going to lead you gently towards being a better player again. So reflex time is when you pull down the trigger, everything goes slow-mo, you get into aim mode and everything's very cool, right? And so then if you engage reflex time during a perfect dodge, that's when we put you into super reflex where everything kind of goes blue, all the enemies are highlighted red and you do extra damage and everything's way cooler and pumped up. I really like dual pistols. They're a, they're a good weapon. Like, I know you start the game with them, but... There's a reason. There's, yeah, they're just <laughs> ultra satisfying. Like, just feels super good. We work very closely with game design because the game mechanics, the enemies, the gameplay all feeds into the levels and the purpose of the levels is to like make that shine. We work with the coders because we need tools to make these levels and we need that to work and be good so that we can actually iterate and make these things make these things shine. And yeah, we work really closely with environment art because they're the ones taking ugly grey cubes and making them into like really nice, beautiful finished levels. Roller Dream is one of the most straight-faced games that we've done, but actually, behind like, yeah, behind the scenes, <laughs> yeah, it was all memes and nonsense. One of our very first goals was, like, there were these really cool GIFs and also really cool GIFs, and that one little five-second loop took 120 attempts to make it look that dope, but how do we get to a point where in any run, in any arena, you'll do something as cool as that just through playing it. And when you get to that point, there's so much going on and you've got, you've got options. You know, like dodging between stuff and shooting rockets out of the air. And, yeah. You know, you can like jump up and shoot a mine and use that to bounce you and get extra air and stuff like that. It's just like, it's a cool game. I wish that we'd had this whole interview like months ago. Because I'm <laughs> so learning a whole like... bunch of stuff <laughs> that I still haven't even realised or mastered yet. Cut that. <laughs> <laughs>